serial killers catch the imagination of the public like nothing else. You know, the predator, the shark, you know, the spider enticing these victims into his web. What I find interesting is how many police departments don't readily admit how many serial killers there are. You know, at some point, and, and I made that decision as the Suffolk Police Commissioner to indicate that this was a serial killer. You know, I, I felt that we had to let the public know that. I mean, you got to call it the way it is. Don't sweep it under the, uh, the rug. But you got a lot of flack for that. Yeah, but you know, uh, when you're on the top spot uh, in the hot seat, you get flack. It comes with the territory. So I, you know, I deal with it. Are you surprised that the case still remains unsolved today? No, these cases are very difficult. And we knew that from the beginning. And so you're always hoping for a break. And, and by the way, uh, that's why I do these types of shows, uh, because the public may be the answer to solving this thing, because somebody will, uh, I believe somebody has information. Seems like we're also looking for another body to show up. I believe he hasn't stopped, okay? He needs this, his psyche needs this. Uh, you know, he, he's wired that way now. That's the only way he can get off. He's sadistic, it's sexual sadistic operation. And so he gets turned on by that. Does he have a new dumping ground? I would say yes.